When someone asks his tribe, can I collect your data to do research and find ways to help your community? It might sound like a good offer, but the simple question raises critical concerns. This is because the word data includes all your tribal information, like tribal knowledge, song, and stories, as well as individuals' information, like age, medical history, health status, and any blood or other biospecimen that is collected. And so there are serious concerns. Who is asking for our data? Are they native or non-native? What kinds of data do they want? And most importantly, how will this research actually help the tribe? These are all good and necessary questions, but as a tribe, you also have a right to know how your data is collected and stored. So it's important to ask questions like, what happens to the data once the project is over? Who will have access to it? And where will it be stored? Until fairly recently, research was perpetuated onto our community members. We were treated as objects of research and science and not necessarily equal participants of research. I think there's mistrust because the research has always been done on tribal people and not with them. There is mistrust because of a pattern of broken promises from broken treaties and broken consent. A lot of the research that has been done involving indigenous peoples, not only in the United States, but around the world, has not benefited those people. It has often harmed those people and they know it. Today, Native scientists understand these past injustices and are working hard to make sure that they don't happen again. This isn't just about keeping data safe. It's about making sure tribes have the power to control their own information. A tribal data repository or a TDR is simply a system, a storage bank for tribal nations data. The D4I TDR project is a project funded by the NIH in order to break a stalemate between the tribes and the federally funded research agencies. I see the Tribal Data Repository as a place where data can be stored in a trustworthy place and communities don't need to spend all of their resources trying to secure their data, secure their future, but have this basis of understanding that it's always there and they don't need to worry about it. So that's why if we start thinking about keeping data central to tribal communities in a space where members can actually physically see where it's being held, who has access to it, then we can start really building back trust in building data systems that actually services communities. The project keeps tribal data sovereignty front and center. That's your tribe's right to control how your own data is collected, where it's stored, and who can use it. For that reason, making sure individuals and communities can decide about what they're consenting to and creating contracts that protect tribal interests are key to the Tribal Data Repository project. So one of the things that has been really important is really to think about sovereignty as something that is not just individual informed consent, but thinking about how we engage in community and tribal leadership authorization of the research that is conducted. In a certain sense, tribal data repository is almost a misnomer because it puts the emphasis on the place where the data live rather than the conversations and the relationships that make it possible to think about what should that look like? How should it be? How should it work? Who should have access and under what conditions? If we as researchers broker a trust relationship with community members or any people, we want to make sure that we're upholding our end of that agreement. And planning the physical storage of data is also important. Whether they choose a centralized, decentralized, or federated system, 
the TDR is responsible to the tribes that trust it with their information. The centerpiece of this project, from my perspective, is how do you build capacity in such a way that tribal nations are prioritized? What does it look like for the future of being able to build out research institutes that are owned and operated by tribal nations, that don't require federal funding, that don't require academic researchers? How can I work myself out of a job? And if we're going to talk about building data systems that service tribal nations, then ultimately tribal nations need to be at the center of all of these processes. And I, as a tribal member, I'm just so happy to be able to utilize my expertise to build this data future into fruition. Together, we can protect our knowledge and honor our ancestors and future generations by ensuring a future where our sovereignty is respected and upheld by all.